Should have seen him run when he figured out what they were. Oh, it's another bus. Oh yeah, they're gonna bus. Where is it? Oh, it's this guy right here. <laughs> You get him? You got it already. Jesus. <laughs> That's awesome. The way they grab on, it's so funny, you can't get them off. Mm -hmm. they, their legs are hooked, so they really can grab on the branches real good. Mm -hmm. And the wind and stuff. But Kimberly, where I was, there had to be three to five hundred shells at the base of each tree. Where are you? I was on Archer Avenue on my route. Mm -hmm. the, it's Ogden Avenue. I mean Archer Avenue. It runs through the forest. And as I was, as I, okay, I'm coming right, and it's a tree line like this. Mm -hmm. And there's an opening where there's a lake. And I saw a bunch of geese going crazy, snapping something up. So I pulled in, and I made, and I shoot the geese, and they were sitting there just eating them. These things had climbed up on the tall grass. And their shells were all over the tall grass. And then I wasn't even to a tree yet. I didn't see any live ones. Mm -hmm. All I saw was shells. And as I, I, I looked for an old tree, because the way it works is they mate and they lay the eggs in a little crevice or a little crack in the branches on the live trees. Then the, the nymphs hatch, they fall off the tree to the bottom of the tree and they, they burrow in wherever they fall. They mm -hmm. burrow in and they come back 17 years later. <laughs> so I said, the older the tree, the, the greater the chance of large numbers, right? So I look around and I see a big tree. So I walk over there, the geese scattered. I walked over there and as I'm walking up, shell, 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 shell. There were hundreds of shells on this tree. And I'm going, I don't believe this. Things are, these things are already, they already came out of their shells and are gone, right? And all of a sudden behind me, in a tree behind me, I hear <laughs> one trying to wind up. Uh -huh. And it never really did wind up. I only heard one. So now I'm scanning, right? And all of a sudden I see one out of the shell. So I went back to my van and I got my Speedway cup. And I came back and popped. And then I stood and once my eye was trained, I saw those little red eyes everywhere. Once my eye was trained, mm -hmm. I started seeing red eyes all over the place. And I figured about 30 was enough. <laughs> I'll catch some more. I went through our yard, I didn't see a single one. And, and the ones that come out, I've seen green-eyed ones here. We've got green-eyed ones here. I don't know, they said there's like over 100. And these are some of the smallest cicadas I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Look at them. Yeah, those are pretty small. Are they small? Well, I've never seen live ones. I've only seen the shells. Oh, we get monster ones like this over here. When ours come out, they'll probably be green-eyed. We'll probably see a lot of green-eyed ones. And uh, you ready, partner? <laughs> you ready for another one? It's like I hear you talking. We gotta grab on. <laughs> A snake, look at him. Boom! <laughs> that was an awesome shot. How many is it? I'm trying to count. Well, that was two while I was in here. I said seven and I oh, found two. Oh, what That's nine. It's got one under his foot. Oh, yeah, I gotta leave him alone. See how, how easily distracted he is? I gotta leave him alone. He'll clean that one up. <laughs> but not if I keep throwing him at him. But I want to see what his fill is. Then I'll know what to catch every day. It's looking dry. Huh? He's looking dry. Yeah. I just want to like. Oh, he's undernourished. He had, he had one night crawler in two weeks. Uh -huh. So he had to eat. Yesterday he ate two goldfish. Just, uh